Hi, this is Robert Rondinella. I am with co-host of Stacey Chalemi, The Advisor. I am not Stacey Chalemi. Unfortunately, Stacey couldn't be available today. Today, we have a wonderful guest named Elena Delalala. Okay, she's with uh, Move Your Spirit, um, moveyourspirityoga.com, and she has an interesting story, um, interesting stories to tell you, okay? Um, Elena, tell us, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, thank you so much for um, having me. First of all, it is uh, almost 11 o'clock at night here. So if I sound a little sleepy, please do wake me up. <laughs> well, where are you? Number one, let's tell the world, where are you? I so, so origin. well, originally I'm from Italy. I usually live in the US, but I find myself in the north part of India in the Himalayas. So high that we're almost... Um, at the corner or very near Tibet. So it's really high up in the mountains. And I think we're like nine and a half hours ahead. So um, yeah, so the time is uh, is definitely different, but I'm so happy to be here. And I am um, excited to hear your specific questions. So please do ask me more. Yeah, so, so, I, so you're in the Himalayan mountains in, near Tibet, and it's got to be really cold over there, right? Or, or Yes, it is. See, I'm wearing my scarf, and I have oh. the heater on, and it's definitely <laughs> winter still. Although it's supposed to be quite quite warm, but it's been raining and really cold. So right. it's a little change. So so what do you do differently up there in the mountains of Tibet that, that you would do differently in, in, in the United States? Because I know in the United States... It's more of a rat race, right? A hustle. You wake up in the morning, the alarm clock rings. You got to make your coffee, the phone call. You got to sit the kids off to school. You got to get to work, wear my pants, uh -huh. put the alarm on. It's a rush, okay? I mean, and 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 we don't have time to slow down. How do you, you know, what is the one thing you do differently now in Tibet? So just, just explain well, the routine. That's exactly, that's exactly why I came here to stop that rat race of, waking up and having something on the agenda already mine was definitely uh you can say was a calling that brought me here to be away from everything and everyone to really walk the walk instead of just talking about being within yourself and finding that inner peace you don't even have to find that actually you just have to reconnect to it because inner peace is always present never absent but because of the rat race that you're talking about always going from point a to point b uh getting this done paying that bill talking on the phone checking your emails or whatever it is that we all do we forget that there is this part of us that doesn't need any of that that everything that we really need to make us feel whole and complete and in a perpetual state of joy, which is our true nature, is the opposite of that. And so because this is what I teach my clients and students, I wanted to really embody that and really say, hey, I'm not just telling you to do these things. I'm not just telling you to go inward and find the answers that you are looking for within yourself, not on Google or chatting with your friends or looking for different sources, but really looking within you. So I wanted to prove that I could do that in a complete different dynamic, in a complete different part of the world where I didn't know anyone, I didn't speak the language and really live a secluded life, which is pretty much what I'm doing. So I'm really surprised that the internet is working so far, crossing <laughs> fingers, it's, it keeps on going because these are the challenges. Here is very minimal. Um, the main issue is, you know, will I have electricity? Will I have the Wi-Fi? Uh, is my phone going to work? But it, it's much more, well, uh, first of all, it's very quiet. Uh, very few people. It's on top of a mountain. So even going down to get your food, you know, the basic necessities that we forget, because especially in the States, everything is available all the time. More, the more, the better. And we really lose track of our purpose. Right. And so I help people actually um, reconnect to that because, you know, the main questions that we ask ourselves are, who am I? What is my purpose? Where am I going? And who is coming with me? And if we don't find the answer to these questions, then life becomes complicated because we keep looking for answers in all the wrong places and we look for things that are not fulfilling us and not letting us actually 
um, find that serenity, that joy, that peace that we all want, because ultimately that's all we're looking for, right? right? Inner peace, to love, to be loved. And it's definitely not going to happen in the in the rat race, in accumulating, in getting more things, in going on another to another shopping spree. Right. It it's it's the opposite of that. So so here it, I'm experiencing that. And right. while I was here, I had my second um, near death experience, which was very different from the first one. I want um, to talk to you about that. And seriously, <laughs> that was one thing I wanted to talk to you about was like, like, how did you first become interested in these topics? Like, like, look, I would love to just let it all go, give it all away. Okay. And, 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 and take a boat or, or, or a train or, or a plane to the mountains of him, Himalayas over there in Tibet and, and, and be like you, right. And envy you and not have to worry about anything, right. Get in touch with our inner peace. How did you become interested in this topics and, and how did it impact? Like, you know, what was that impact on your life that made you decide to, to take that path in life? Was it that well, experience? Uh, yeah, it was it was several experiences. Um, I would say that the the base for all this was when I was young and I was growing up in Italy. I suffered tremendously from depression and anxiety, right. so much so that I tried to end it all a couple of times, and I was I was not successful. And so, well, obviously because I'm still here. Thank so, God for that, right? Thank you. Okay, really. I mean, we're, we're glad that that you were unsuccessful. Okay. Well, thank you. Right. Uh, well. Thank you. So I had to find ways to cope with that anxiety, and um, I really deepened my. Um, I, I don't even know what I. I don't even know how I came out of it. I think it was truly by divine grace because I was so depressed and 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 so sad and so anxious, mainly sadness. And then one day I ran into this book. Um, I, I used to read a lot. I still do, but um, uh, especially at that time because I was I was really going inward, hoping to find the answer to why I was feeling like that. And so I ran into this book, which is. Um, the Bhagavad Gita, which is called the Song of God. It's one of the main Hindu scriptures. And I didn't know anything about Hinduism. I didn't know anything about, I knew about spirituality because I've always had this calling for higher sources. But this book really changed my life. Although I didn't know anything about it, I just read it and it felt like all my questions were answered within it. Um, so that was the main thing that started getting me out of the hole that I was in, the rabbit hole that I was in. Right. And then I had a near-death experience. It just happened. Um, I had um, an anaphylactic shock and I um, I basically died yeah. and I came back. Um, I don't even know how it happened. I wasn't allergic to anything. They just rescued me. I was in Hawaii of all places on vacation. And um, I don't, I don't know what happened. I just found myself in the hospital and I changed my life immediately. Right after I came out, I remember I ate uh, bread, butter, and anchovies for like a month. I don't even know. I don't even like anchovies, <laughs> but I that's what I did. And so I started changing my life there and I felt there was a bigger purpose. And then actually what happened, I started listening to my intuition and my inner voices and my messages. And that's really what brought me um, into a deeper uh, level of awareness. Right. That's amazing. And, and, and the fact that, you know, you you now taken your experiences and you are helping other people correct right you're offering one absolutely on one, right you're offering these one-on-one -on -one spiritual mentoring sessions and part of those sessions are to help unleash power their power change their condition identify their uniqueness and reconnect with their purpose right um mm -hmm. can you share like a story of a particular transformative experience if you had with a client like if I was a client like you know something that you transformed their life or how your life was transformed absolutely let's say you you come to me and you you have you don't even know why you come to me oh. I offer these 30 minute free calls and so your something takes right. you into this call or brings you into the call and then we start talking and you realize that there was something at the pit of your stomach that does that does not work and you can't put a name to it. 
So we just have a conversation, like we're having a conversation right now. And then you realize that you are exactly where you're supposed to be, that the journey brought you to this space, this time in order for you to really understand what, what are you doing here? Like, what is, what is your purpose? Why, why are you in the form that you're in this time around? What are you here to do? Because there is way more to way more for you to do than just, you know, lose weight, pay bills, and then ultimately get to the end of your life. So um, all the stories I have to say um, of the people that I've worked with are successful because we start this journey together. We open this container of going deeper and deeper into right. into your soul, basically. Right. And we stay with it until you feel that your ans- your questions are answered or more or less, not more or less, or at least the questions that you have in this time that we're working together and a lot of stuff comes up um in fact before we even start i sent i send this um information about how the questions how the the sessions are and that there are going to be questions that you're asked to answer that maybe are painful because you get to the pit of your core in order to really get to understand and connect to yourself capital s Right. You know, the self that connects you to spirits, that connects you to the divine, because I, I'm sure you you are aware we, we are much more than just what we see here. There is a deeper um, energy, kind of like the one that's behind you right. in the in the screen or, that right. <laughs> like, a, yeah, like a divine energy that is um, out there that is embracing all of us that wants our success but we need to be open to it. Right. So I call myself a manifesting mentor because truly I help people create a life that is worth waking up to. What's the purpose of waking up if your life isn't exciting? Then right. you might as well just stay in bed, which is what I did for so many years until I found out that I was just wasting time. And you mentioned, so, that, and you mentioned that on your website, right? You mentioned the importance of letting go of the self-sabotaging and the destructive coping mechanisms that we all have within ourselves, right? Mm-hmm. So, so absolutely. And these things are very harmful to people, right? They get into this 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 daily re- regimen where where they don't want to live, they aren't happy. Um, you know, how do you begin to like get people to break free from that thought? To, um, to start enjoying their life and stop worrying about the little things in life, right? Yeah, very, very good question. You know, everybody comes with a different life story. Right. So this is why I do private one on one sessions, because I don't know what your experiences are. I don't know what your traumas are. So as we talk, I can understand, I can feel, I can sense, I I get information about what your specific um self-sabotaging mechanism wow. are and then I can help you come out of them but I don't know what they are yet because right. you and I are, are still you know we're not working together yet but the difference between working with me in one-on-one as opposed to being in a in a group or in a webinar is that I 100% see you as a being not just the being here but the being that's inside and right. the being that um, I'm sure has self-sabotaging uh, beliefs because, because we all do, because we all feel that either, oh, you know, I'm asking for too much or this is impossible. This is too good to be true. Right. Or uh, I feel so guilty about that. And we keep ourselves limited when actually we are unlimited beings because we come from spirit. We come from divine and divine nature is unlimited. So we need to step out of this poverty consciousness that keeps us trapped into playing small and playing safe and almost put wings on and really believe that the universe is there to help us, that all we got to do is ask, which sounds ridiculous because, oh, you know, I'm asking and nothing is happening. Well, yeah, because maybe you're not asking correctly. Maybe you don't know how to ask. So I teach you how to ask. I show you that there are ways for you to really manifest what you want as long as you're clear on your message, as long as you you start acting and behaving and being the person that you want to be, not just having a dream, but actually 
embody what you want and who you right. want to be. Right. That's that's amazing. So that's sort of like um, if somebody is closed minded and they come to you and they don't know what they want. Right. That's like your typical client. Right. They just don't know what they ask for. Um, it's, I guess it would be your job would be to are you opening up their mind or their crown? To mm -hmm. the universe, right. OK. And, and absolutely. You, you think like they, they will get signs from the universe will come. The energy will come into them and they'll feel those signs. Um, you know, to come to this type of work, you have to be open-minded Open minded. to begin with. Maybe you don't know that you're open-minded or maybe you are open-minded, but there are these nasty voices in the back of your head that are telling you, well, what are you doing? Why are you starting this? This is crazy. Uh -huh. So my job is to tell you that yourself with the capital S, you know, what you want you know what life you want to lead and so these limiting voices behind you they need to be put to the side and so it's it's more of of a retraining of right. who you are so it's not it's not so much closed minded or open minded but more understanding that you can get in touch with the messages of the universe, that, of the synchronicities, of understanding why things are happening a certain way and how you can connect to a deeper level of awareness that allows you to manifest the life that you want. Because the universe speaks to us all the time, but we don't understand the language because we're not ready for it, because we right. play small. So my job is to show you, hey, you're not this limited person that you that your brain wants you to believe to keep you trapped. You're unlimited. And so let's start shedding a little bit of all this stuff that keeps you trapped, which is the reason why I came here to shed all the stuff to really to really show to people, to my clients and students and, and the people that are interested in this type of work that it is possible. It is possible to do with less. It is possible to be within yourself in right. an idle state of of contentment that you don't need much that you need you know when i when i made the move from the us to here i literally left with four bags and i left when i was 51 and everybody thought it was some kind of like life you know middle life middle crisis life. Yeah. <laughs> but that's courage i look at it i look at it as courage right you have the courage to do that right Whereas a lot of people will take the easy way out and be cowards. Well, you know, I love it when people say, oh, I wish I had your courage. You do. Maybe, right. You do have it. It's just, it, the question is, how badly do you want it? How right. badly do you want to make a change? And then people bring the age factor, which is inexistent because I changed my life at 51. Why can't you change it at, at 37 or 42 mm -hmm. or 55? <clears throat> excuse me I, I, so we always have excuses right hey it's christmas i'll do it after wait till groundhog absolutely day, after tax day after memorial day right um yes when the kids go off to college exactly. or you know oh, you, so you heard it all yeah. right <laughs> so i mean look you you you, you have definitely these, you have these intuition abilities that like no one of the people have okay you have psychic abilities you can bring them um, uh, you know um you know you can get it inside someone's mind um, you know, look at their dilemmas, analyze their struggles. What do you say to skeptics, okay, who, who might be hesitant to believe that you don't have these abilities? Those are my clients. Okay. If you are a skeptic and you don't believe that change is possible, then you and I cannot work together. Got it. Because okay. if we work together, when we work together, there is a complete trust. I trust that you're going to make the time for the commitment. Normally, I require a minimum of three months, but I've worked with people up to, I have a client that I've been with for over three and a half years. That's fantastic. And we meet every week because once you start the process, so much stuff comes out that it's almost like opening this book of fables that you don't want to right. end. So if, if you are ready to make the commitment, and um, you trust me that I can take you from point A to point B, then we have something. If you don't trust the process, you don't trust me, and I see that you're not committed, well, then it's not going to work wow. because it has to be a level of commitment. Well, I, 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 I feel like I can trust you. Um, you're very likable, very trustable. And, and one of the paths that I, I can, I feel myself cringing when you mention is, is opening up that Pandora's box. It is a fear. 
Okay. It is a, absolutely I'm scared of that right now. I mean, <laughs> for me to open up and let it all out could be a scary venture. Like, how do you how do you comfort people to be open minded and let and 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 let them know that it's okay to get all that out into the universe, right? That's let the negative energy out and the positive energy come in, right? Because because think about it, if if you if you know that after you have opened this Pandora box and everything has come out, your life is going to be so bright, right. and there's like another dimension that opens clarity. up. Yes, clarity. It's almost like you were living in the dark, right. and after the work, after you you have seen all your darkness and accepted it as part of you, you understand that there's nothing wrong with you. That there's nothing to feel guilty about. And there's such a, a big, a big, large feeling of freedom. Wow. And so, yes, it's painful. You have to go through the process. Transformation requires stepping into the fire and fire burns. But what comes out of that burning is a whole other dimension. Like you may be able to experience the fullness of life for the first time. Wouldn't you want that? Absolutely. Wouldn't you want to experience that before you die before your body dies i uh, would I, I and i can see why you have clients as long as three and a half years if you can you know give that experience it's sort of like a, a euphoric experience right absolutely uh, yeah. and and you don't need any drugs you any don't alcohol, need any right no no mind altering substances nothing it, you you already have that within you and actually if you if you read my testimonials they they kind of speak for themselves they they tell you exactly um the kind of work that that we do together and it, and it's really um it, it's really i like to i like to use the term a container because we enter this container and then it's like a give and take, you know, right. you, you give yourself the freedom to be you. And also you take the information in order for you to tap into your power and really become the person that you were supposed to be in the beginning before all your limiting beliefs drop you down. And, you know, we, we don't dream big enough, right? Oh, this is too much. Oh, it will never happen. Oh, I can't afford it. Oh, I can't do that. Well, then you're always going to be in that predicament if you don't right. change your language. That's why people say manifesting doesn't happen. Yeah, of course. If you speak like that, it, it will never happen. Because to manifest what you want, you need to vibrate high. Right. But you can't vibrate high if you're if you're coming from a place of poverty consciousness. That's unbelievable. I really, I mean, I really like the thought process and 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 where you're going. Um, and it seems like you've been, you know, you're devoted to, you talk about the divine, right? Mm -hmm. um, how do you divide, how do you define the divine and how do you think people can connect it with the divine, with their own lives? Like, how can I connect with the divine? Wow. These are great questions. Um, well, one of the questions that I ask my clients before we start together, I ask them if they have a spiritual practice. Wow. If they believe in a in a in a in spirit or a higher power or the so, divine, now so belief belief must come first, right? Yeah, yeah, you 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 must have some kind of belief because yeah. it makes it very very challenging to um to get into this container that I'm talking about or to okay. start any type of process if you don't have any kind of belief. If you don't believe in anything and you just believe that you're you're here and uh, you know you don't care how you came here or you don't want to know why you came here or or who brought you here or what your purpose is well then really there is no there is no um, foundation for the work so first i ask what kind of spiritual belief do you have and i have to say all my clients over the years i have all had some kind of belief right either you know god or the divine or spirit or some form of higher power that they can connect to and so that alone is a huge help right. because think about when you are in, in a state of stress or anxiety or pain, knowing that there is a force out there that oversees and wants to help you, but you got to ask, Right. you got to ask for help. And, and so I, 
I help you get to that connection. I help you get to that divine. And then, you know, there are people that can hear it louder. There are people that don't hear it so loud, but they all have some kind of common ground of believing in a higher power. That that might be a better word, actually. Right. Uh, believing in a higher force. You can call it the self with a capital S or so. Um, so that's one of the questions. And most people that the universe had brought me and, uh, because I believe, you know, all the clients that I've worked with and that I work with are here by divine intervention, because these connections that they're, they're just so random that they only happen if there is divine grace that allows them to happen. So all the people that I work with, they've all had, like I said, some kind of connection with divine power. And so it's just a matter of hearing it louder. Right. That's, that's that's fantastic. Um, you know, it, it, I really believe, you know, no matter who you talk to, everybody, whether they're an atheist, believe in God, they, they all believe that there's something mm -hmm. out there, right? There has to be. I mean, given the universe, it's 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 unlimited, endless. There has to be a higher power, right? Um, yes. So, on a, on a, so, so we're going to end it on a light note. I mean, if you can have any superpower, uh, what would it be and why? I already have superpowers. I love it. Okay. <laughs> so let's talk more about your superpower. Okay. All right. Well, um, since and I was, why, uh, why should, why, and why, why should we come, you know, how should we should reach you and, and, and get in touch with your superpower, right? Um, yeah. Well, you get in touch with my superpowers when you start working with me, because the work that I do comes from my superpowers. I'm just a conduit from Fantastic. the universe that brings me to, to you to help you. So, my superpowers are actually, um, and we all have the superpowers. It's not just me. Everybody has them. Right. But some people have a better way of connecting to them. And, and the superpowers that I'm talking about are being able to hear messages or see messages of the past or the future in order to have a broader vision of what is actually happening. So you don't just see what's happening right now, but you know what will happen in the future, or you can see someone's past and understand why the person is here right now doing, saying, or behaving in a certain way because of what happened to him or her in the past. So that's the superpower that I, I get this information so that I can help you. Um, yeah, so that I can help you overcome whatever it is that you need to overcome. So everybody's different. Everybody has different past, different traumas, different things they're working with. And so when you come to me as a client, I connect to these powers that uh, powers or gifts right. that allow me to to help you. So like I said, I don't, I don't want to take all the credit because I shouldn't take it because the work that I do is really guided by divine grace. Right. And so when I work with someone, it's, um, I'm, I'm really like a, a just a channel it's that a helps channel. the person. So, so you're just connecting, right? You're, you're an amplifier. Yes. Yeah. You're an amplifier. Yes. Right. Great, great, uh, great word. Yes. Do you find that being in Tibet actually um, enables you to be, you know, amplify even larger, you know? Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Yeah, being here. That's the reason why I came, yeah. actually. One of the reasons. Um, the mountains are incredible. And the energy alone of the mountains. Right. I go for walks, you know, and um, I, I stay in caves and I, I stay in prayer and yeah. fasting and other and other things that have other practices that I do. But that because of that, the, the messages come much clearer and much stronger um, because there isn't all that noise. And how long do you plan on being there now in Tibet? Are, are... Um, well, it's it's been about six years already oh, okay. on and off. Okay. Yeah. So I'm actually ready to come to the U.S. Um, next week for uh, a little bit. My children are there. So I'm okay. coming on a on kind of like a, a visit the children kind of trip. And then um, I will be back because here is where I get recharged. And here oh, right. is where I um, I need to be right now. I can see myself being addicted or not addicted, but wanting to learn more. And the more that I'm going to, you know, get out of you, I'm probably going to be, you know, I mean, is it normal to have like five sessions a week with you? I mean, you know, what, what <laughs> I'm, the I, most I've had is three. I'm very antsy. I want more, you know, I'm, I got that addictive personality. Okay. 
So, I mean- Well, we need to work on that. We need to work on that. So you would say three sessions a week tops for a guy like me? Uh, well, we can work on that, but we need to okay. work on, on the addiction personality first. Okay. <laughs> okay, so your average client books you for about one, two times, three times a week? So normally it's it's once a week okay. and uh, in between sessions, we still have messages. Uh, you can okay. send me text message. You can send me videos, wow. whatever comes up. I've had people that have done um, three sessions per week and then someone who has done two sessions per week. And then we start doing maybe one every other week, depending like, you know, what your specific circumstances are. I worked with a woman um, for about five years and we started with three, then we went down to two, then to one, and then one every other week. And then now she's on her own. Wow. But um, so every every case, every case, every person, every every situation is every container is different. Got you. So how 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 this let, 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 let's 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 reach out to the universe and how is one supposed to reach you? Because you have these special gifts, you're a conduit to the universe. How can they reach you? Great. So you can go on my website, move your spirit yoga or move your spirit with Elena.com, and you can book your 30-minute free session. Um, because I like to always have some kind of, uh, you know, of a get to know each other before right. we start working together. So to make sure that we are a good match, that we like each other, that we um, we can help each other. So definitely uh, take advantage of the 30 minute free session. And then from there, we can talk more about your specific situation, how to um, how to work it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you hear that, everybody? You're going to you're going to go to her website. Um, you're gonna, you know, her website's really fantastic. Um, you get a, you get a free 30 minute consultation to see if you're a good fit. And I'm sure you've turned down people before, right? I mean, you don't take anybody. No, I don't. I right. don't. I work only with specific people and I, I work with people that I want to work with because I love what I do. Got it. So I have to have the feeling that, yes, I can definitely help this person. I can see where I can take this person and, um, I've had people that I, I, I didn't, not many actually, but I've had people that I didn't feel that connection. So I, gotcha. I just didn't, didn't yep. start. So you hear that universe, please go to Elena's website. Okay. It is a free consultation. There is no obligation. Okay. She's going to, you know, get to know who you are and you're going to see if there's a fit and if there's no fit. You just walk away. Okay. It's a no problem. consultation. No problem. You, you guys have nothing to lose. Okay. And, and, and a lot to gain. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Can you just mention that website one more time. Okay. So you can go on move your spirit with Elena.com move your spirit with Elena.com. And we'll also have that type in as well. Okay. All right. Anything else yeah. you can add to, you, to, your, to the audience? Um, actually, maybe I can finish with, I can end with a quote sure. that I read from Shakti Gawain. I think it's her last name. I can't pronounce it correctly, probably. But she says, the universe will reward you for taking risks on its behalf. Wow. Very and so you have to take that leap of faith, right? For things right. to change. All yeah. Right. And I think we're going to, you know, I think you are going to change lives and you're on this world for a special purpose and we appreciate it. Okay. Thank Thanks you so time. much. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. I it was an honor. It was great to have you on. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We're going to edit this, okay? How'd you like it?